Shirley Ballas has revealed she has reached out for medical help as her mental health has been left in tatters due to cruel trolling. The strictly head judge, 62, has faced a barrage of scrutiny in this year's series, from being branded sexist over her dance-off decisions to mean taunts about her appearance. Speaking out on how the constant criticism has affected her, Shirley hints her future in the show next year may even be in doubt after feeling desperately low over the past few months. The TV icon, who joined the BBC show as head judge in 2017, has felt so shattered by the trolling she will take time off when the show ends for the sake of her mental health, and has gone to a doctor over her low moods and anxiety. I've enjoyed the series but I'm not going to stand here and lie to you, it took its emotional toll, that's why I'm not going to do Panto, she tells OK! Magazine. It makes you, go, do I look right? Am I too heavy? Am I this? Am I that? Cover up your bingo arms. Should I wear a dress with sleeves? One person said. Your ears are too big so, I got a tape measure out and measured my ears. Shirley went on to say the BBC had been a constant support and offered her counselling after the judge was left devastated by the backlash she has received this series. The BBC have been phenomenal, they do offer counselling, they've been there for me all the time, they chat to me every week. You couldn't get more support than they give. Shirley says her plan is to retreat out of the spotlight when the show ends until January 4th and reassess what I want to do with myself next year. In the series so far, Shirley was accused of sexism after saving Richie Anderson over Fleuriste and became the bookie's favorite to be sacked by 2023. Shirley hit back at allegations of sexism on Loose Women last month. It builds up from the beginning, there was a lot of trolling, she said. Sometimes when you watch your TV screen, you only see half of what I'm seeing. Responding directly to the sexism allegations, she said, I have to judge what I like. It's a tough industry and it always get a bit emotional. I do read everything, online, but I think it's quite important. It is really hurtful, some of the language is so explicit, it's unfathomable. If you're struggling and need to talk, the Samaritans operate a free helpline open 24-7 on 116 123. Alternatively, you can email Joe at Samaritans.org or visit their site to find your local branch.